Hi, James Clum here, back in the CAD Star Studios after the Cirque 30th. It was quite an event. <laughs> really had a great time, great energy, lots of Cirque users, and in addition, Galleus users, and Orthodontist, and Periodontist, and Prostodontist. We can touch all specialties, even endo, with the Galleus. So the future of where we're going is going to be grand. My presentation at the opening ceremony was about Omnichem and how it's pretty much like a handpiece now. We need a handpiece, we need the Omnichem. The Omnichem allows us to scan in a much more proficient way. If you're a red cam or blue cam user, now's the time to upgrade. Particularly in the essence, we can scan a full arch with the ortho software, establish a byte registration. Use that in your consultations. You can use it for restorative dentistry. Use the cutout feature as you go through the arch. It also talks with the 3D software. We're gonna use that for implant planning as you may already be doing that. We're gonna have the ability to use it in CCAT Air. CCAT Air will deal with airways and how we can be a better gatekeeper and also provide appliances when indicated to help people breathe better at night. <laughs> I know from personal experiences that sleep apnea can be a real kick in the butt. And I've had it for years. Even when I was a thin person at 175, that was a string bean. I had sleep apnea because my airways, I had four into four retraction with round wire. Of course, that was back in the 70s when I don't even know if we had a good panel system back then. But I'm suffering for that today, so I'm a little more sensitive about those airways. CCAT function and jaw tracking allows us to look at the joint, allows us to find the full functional envelope of a patient. Even those terms that we used to use back in dental school, immediate side shift and bend an angle, we can now do jaw tracking and import the functional analysis of that patient into the CEREC and you will have that metric system of their function for all your restorations. So the future of where we're going with CEREC is critical, particularly with 3D. Now the question is, even if you're not doing implants, 3D will really work well for you. I have the Galileus, the large sensor. I recommend that one mainly because it helps you to see the whole skull as well as the upper cervical vertebrae allows me to be more of a complete dentist. I'm looking at C1 and C2, which is critical with the alignment of C1 and C2 in our neck on how we function. The other thing that's really important is to look at airways, look at sinuses. Plus, you're going to see endopathology that usually is asymptomatic, either on a historical endo or teeth that are asymptomatic that may not show up with a 2D x-ray because it will read the cancellous bone. If the cortical plate is intact, you may not see the lesion or it's just not really clear. And if they don't have symptoms, we kind of monitor that situation. Well, I'll tell you, the Galilee has been impacting on my practice. I, I'd have to say that it's probably been a little bit more than even Sarek, even though Sarek's kind of like my first child, you know. The red cam, the blue cam, and now the Omnicam, and the latest software. Couldn't live without it, but couldn't live without 3D either. So the future of where we're going is pretty grand. In fact, the new uh, digital community that Strona has now named is Sarah World. They will be having another convention in Orlando next year, and it will be called Sarah World to include everyone. In other words, those that may not actually be doing CEREC, but we'll have orthodontists there, periodontists, oral surgeons, endodontists, you name it. It's going to be across the board. So it's real exciting about where we're going to go with this technology. I will introduce some new concepts about 4.4 CEREC software on uh, some other videos. But I'm just really excited to share with you about where we are in this journey of digital dentistry. It's transformed my practice. It's transformed me as a clinician. And I'm sure you're on that journey as well. It's great to be uh, among mentors there to 30th, a lot of educators. And uh, I'm going to introduce also my involvement with digital enamel in another video. That's with Dr. Todd Ehrlich and Dr. August de Oliveira. 
Uh, they're good friends. They've been friends for a long time. They're also good educational partners, and I'll share with you how I'm going to be involved with him. And by the way, Catstar is staying right here. <laughs> You're going to have Catstar TV. We're not going anywhere, but we will be working closer with my uh, colleagues and, and some other colleagues coming down uh, the pike, and we're going to announce that in a little while. So uh, stay tuned. We're on a very exciting road in digital dentistry. And for me, it's about the joy practice, being productive, having fulfillment, having a better career, and also passing on great dentistry to our patients. So thanks for tuning in. A lot more to come. Mm -hmm.